Good morning. Thursday morning, December 30th, 2021. And I just uh, woke up this morning making a list. I said, you know what? Let's do a bunch of songs from Teaching Peace. All right, so let's do the chorus and then I'll get you into the sign language. Teaching peace all the world around. You and me, every city, every town. One by one in our work and in our play. We're teaching peace by what we do and what we say. Okay, you know this song, right? So the sign language is pretty easy. Teaching is like sharing knowledge from your head. Teaching peace. So you take your hands, you swoosh them like that, and then you go, peace. <clears throat> Teaching peace, world, all the world around. You and me, every city, every town. What city do you live in? What town do you live in? One by one in our work, huh. work, and in our play. That's a very important sign. We are teaching peace by what we do and what we say. Okay, let's try it again. Teaching peace all the world around, you and me, every city, every town, one by one in our work and in our play. We are teaching peace by what we do and what we say. Okay, can you guys do this? Let's try it. Teaching peace all the world around, you and me, every city, every town, one by one in our work and in our play. We are teaching peace by what we do and what we say. It's up to us. Can you sing it back? Show we care, show we care, reaching out to everybody, everywhere, everywhere, heart to heart, friend to friend, circling all around the world and back again, teaching peace all the world around, you and me, every city, every town, one by one. up to us to show we care reaching out to everybody everywhere One by one in our work and in our play, we are teaching peace by what we do and what we say. We are teaching peace by what we do, do and what we say. We are teaching peace by what we do and what we good 
good way to end 2021. Yay. <clears throat> Let's see. Hold on. I want to say hello to Rimby, Alberta, Scott, and Mona. Yep. And Kristen in Ohio and Justin and Venus. Yay. Thank you, Kat. And Cheryl is joining us from Florida. And yes, okay, good. Here we go. <clears throat> hmm. Yay, Kathy. Hey, Anthony. Yes. And very sweet, Kendra. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> let's do this. So there's a part for you in it. I'm going to go like this, and you're going to know exactly what to do. All right? <clears throat> let's see if you can figure it out. Did you know some folks are shy? When it comes to saying hi, they feel funny deep inside and they turn their heads away. They think no one wants to meet them and nobody really needs them. So when you go up to greet them, they turn their heads away. You gotta stand up tall, gather up a smile, take a big say hi so take it from your dog or cat they've got their hellos down pat meow 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 woof woof yeah yeah they don't turn their heads away So when you're walking down the street, say hello to those you meet. Don't be looking down at your feet. You got to look them in the eye and say, hi. <laughs> Yay. <clears throat> hello. You know, I've noticed because we're all wearing masks and we've had this two years of having to stay six feet apart, that when I walk down the street or I'm riding my bike around, you know, I get exercise riding my bike around, sometimes I, I say hello to people across the street and they're like so into their little word they don't even notice I'm saying hello. Sometimes we have to make a little extra effort. Hey, how are you today? Right? And everybody's usually very happy that somebody's reaching out to them. So we need to make a little extra effort to say, say hi right now, I think makes a big difference. So everybody's living in their little world, you know? It's nice to reach out and say, hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Venus. Hey, Natasha and Soli and Bran and Atlee. How you doing, Atlee and Natasha? <clears throat> yes, Shireen, we, I'll send you a note after. And Kathy from Warwick. And Shireen from Temecula. Yep. Happiness. Okay, let's see. All right, so let's do this. <clears throat> so we just said it's talking about saying hi, right? Well, let's say hello in a bunch of different languages. First, we're going to sing hello in English, which is hello. Then we're going to sing hello in Spanish, which is hola. Then we're going to... Uh, then we're going to get East Africa, where a lot of people speak the language of Swahili. In Swahili, you can say Jumbo, Jumbo, right? And then we're going to go to China. The original Chinese is actually Cantonese, and it's very kind of high Cantonese. Gan loi le mun homa. It's kind of like saying, how hast thou been? <laughs> and I've changed it recently to the Mandarin which is, hey, everybody, how you doing? Something like that. It sounds like this. Ni men, da ja, hauma. 
Niman Daja Hama Chai Niman Niman Daja Daja Hama Hama Let's try it all together Niman Daja Hama Okay, let's try it. Hello, sing it back. Hello, hola, hola, jumbo, jumbo, ni menda jahoma. Now all across this big wide world there are lots of boys and lots of girls with different eyes and different noses, different hair and different clothes. It's a magical thing. It's a wonderful game. We all look different but we're all the same. Now the differences are great and the differences are small but that's just part of the beauty of it all. We're all like notes that make up a song. We need everybody so come on sing along. Hello, hello, hola, hola. Jumbo, jumbo. How about French? Bonjour, bonjour. How about Hawaiian? Aloha. This is the actual hula sign for hello. I'll touch your fingers to your heart, open up your arm. Aloha. Aloha. How about Japanese? Konnichiwa. How about Arabic? Assalamu alaikum. Nimenda jahoma. Now some folks think that they are the best. They don't know how to get along and say the heck with the rest. So they go their own way and they do their own thing. But the song sounds weak when it's time for them to sing. Now you gather up folks from all kinds of places with different ways of talking to different color faces. There's something special each one brings along. And when they all sing together, now you really got a song. Hello. Hola. Hola. Jumbo. Bonjour, aloha, konnichiwa, assalamu alaikum. How about um, some Native American languages? How about uh, the Iroquois language? Sego. How about the Ojibwa people? Ani. How about the Lakota? How? How about the Navajo? Ya eh. Um, in uh, the Kootenai tribe in Montana, kisuk kukia. Can you do that one? Kisukukye. How about we go across the Pacific Ocean? Let's go to Korea. Anyang hasayo. Ooh, how about India? Namaste. How about we go to, um, I think, where is it? Thailand? Swatika. Uh, how about, ooh, how about the Chamorro people? Half a day. How about um, Portuguese? Oi. German? Guten Tag. Uh, Russian? Privet. Um, uh, Turkish, Maraba, Nimenda Jahoma, Nimenda Jahoma. One more time, hello, hello, hola, hola, jambo, jambo, bonjour, aloha, konnichiwa, assalamu alaikum, sego, ani, how, ya eh. Kisu kukye, anyang hasayo, namaste, uh, oi, uh, swatika, half a day, guten tag, uh, privet, um, oh, we forgot Australian, good eye, mate, howdy, hey y'all, ni menda jahoma, ni menda jahoma, pananam, pananam, huh. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Yeah, they somehow they, they keep they keep uh, hanging in there, these songs. Jill, hop, hop. nice to see you, Jill. Hey, Leo and Melissa, how are you guys? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, so actually last week, or was it the week before, somebody requested this song, and uh, we're going to do it today. Just sing back to me whenever you hear me say, use a word, you sing it back, so it'll be like this. Use a word. Okay, let's try it. When someone makes you slip and you want to bruise their lip, use a word. Use a word. 
When someone grabs your book and you go for your left hook, use a word. Use a word. Cause we can work it out. That's what words were invented for. We can work it out. It's the best way there is for sure to fight over something is absurd. So for Pete's sake, Someone steals your ball and you want to make them fall, use a word, use a word. When someone plays a trick and you're winding up to kick, use a word. Because we can work it out, that's what words were invented for. We can work it out, it's the best way there is for sure to fight over something is absurd. So for me. Sting. We get to choose the words we use each and every day So when it's time to use a word, be careful what you say Cause we can work it out, that's what words were meant for We can work it out, it's the best way there is for sure to fight over something is absurd So for Pete's sake, use a word When someone hurts your pride and you wanna run and hide, use a word a word. When someone thinks of you in a way that isn't true, use a word. Use a word. Cause everybody's different. Take a look around and see. You're the only you I know and I'm the only me. Because we're all so different, there'll be times we'll disagree. But I just want to say, my friend, that that's all right with me. Cause we can work it out. That's what words were meant for. We can work it out. The best way there is for sure to fight over something is absurd. So for Pete's sake and Nicky's and Juan's and Jamal's and Crystal's and Aaron's and David's and Andy's, use a word. Yay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. Wow. Okay. Okay. Perfect segue into this next one. You know, I didn't write these by myself at all. I co-wrote them, or Kathy co-wrote them with me. We wrote them together. And uh, I just want to remember Kathy. She was a great songwriter. I'm sure she's helping me write new ones from the other side, probably. Um, and I want to thank all the, the souls that helped Kathy and I write these songs when we did. Yeah. So, here we go. With two wings, you can, we can soar through the air. With two wings, we can go most anywhere. With two wings, we can sail through the sky. With two wings, we can fly. I am one. Myself, all I can do is flutter. I'm only one wing, I need the other for the dove of peace to fly. I am one wing, sister and mother. By myself, all I can do is flutter. I'm only one wing, I need the other for the dove of peace to fly. With two wings. Tries to make in the wings with two wings. We can soar through the air with two wings. We can go most anywhere with two wings.
means we can sail through the sky with two wings we can fly You know what? I want to. Uh, sometimes you've heard me read poems. Uh, some of my poems. These. Sometimes you've heard me read Kathy's poems. She did a, a personal challenge to herself in the uh, winter. Uh, the winter of um, '89 and '90. Those years. Uh, it was about a three-month time. She said she had to write a, a poem every day, and. Um, so this is one. It's a nice, nice poem to read after these teaching peace songs. Why would I want to? It's the name of the poem. Why would you want to be unkind, even when someone is unkind to you? Why would you want to hurt them back, knowing what hurting could do? I don't understand how revenge is sweet. It doesn't feel good to me. When I exchange a hurt for a hurt, the hurting is all I see. And the dilemma, the problem that started the fight, it has not disappeared, and now it isn't made right. And now there's more than hurt. Oh, I made a mistake here. And the dilemma, the problem that started the fight, it has not disappeared, and it isn't made right. And now there's more hurt that gets gets heaped on top. It piles and piles. It's so hard to stop. When I'm in a fight, I feel at my best when we look at the problem and forget all the rest. No more name calling, no personal attacks, no bringing up any sins from the past. Just say what we think and say what we feel. Start with friendship's fact and our problem is real. And somewhere in the facts and the feelings we say, the problem gets solved and the hurt goes away. So why would I want to hurt someone back and let all that hurting just be? I'd much rather solve the problem and feel good about both you and about me. Why would I want to, why would you want to be unkind when, even when someone's unkind to you? Yeah, I love that. It's tempting when we're angry to sort of get riled up. and but Then we remember our better selves and we say, oh, this is somebody I love. This is somebody I care about. How can we get through this? How can we work through this problem? Thank you, Kathy, for that. And then since we're doing Kathy poems, <clears throat> this one's called The Party. Maybe some of you went to part, have gone to parties this last week. This is from the kids' perspective, for sure. I went to a party with my parents on Sunday. Everyone was dressed up. It was not really a fun day. But I checked things out. There were plenty of treats, plus trays of fancy foods to eat. Hello, young man, the hostess said. Can I offer you some cheese and bread? How about some meatballs, a little salmon mousse? We have chicken wings and exotic fruits. No, thank you, I said. You've done very nice cooking, but I'll just have the candy when my mommy's not looking. <laughs> oh. Sweet, 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 sweet. Let me just see. I mean, yes. I know, Jill. I'm, yes. Hey, okay. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Roberta, for those sweet words. Yay. 
<laughs> nice, Tracy. Cheryl, thank you. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. Okay, so let's see. I think maybe we should do this song. It is our, some of us on today have a dear friend um, named Georgia. She lives on the big island of Hawaii, in Waimea, Kamuela. And we're gonna send this out to her. Uh, Georgia just retired from teaching music at the Hawaiian Preparatory Academy. I don't know how many years, I'm like a million. An awesome, awesome, awesome music teacher. Somebody who t has taken my music and just done the best with it. Anyway, I have to sing this to her. On the day that Georgia was born, on the day that Georgia was born, on the day that Georgia was born, the angels sang and they blew on their horns and they danced, they danced. They smiled and raised up their hands on the day, on the day that Georgia was born. On the day that Georgia was born, on the day Okay, we had a request back here. Let me see who it was. Hang on a second. We had a request. Oh, oh. Melissa says that they're having a request in their house for the doggy song. <sighs> How many of you have dogs? We, for it was a long time we didn't have a dog. We have a dog now. Some of you have seen him. His name is Noah. Inherited Noah from a, from George's sister, actually. Nancy gave us Noah because he was getting along so well with my mother-in-law, Betty, who's 95, and they're just like bosom buddies, Noah and Betty. Doggy, why don't you come over here? Come here, doggy. Doggy. I want to play with you, and when we're through, I'll scratch you behind the ears. Doggy, why don't you come over here? Doggy, when you sniff, I want to sniff. That's what they do, they come up and they sniff. Doggy, when you sniff, I want to sniff. Anything new comes by you, you take a great big Doggy, when you sniff, I wanna sniff. Hey, Daisy! Doggy, when you, when you sleep, I wanna sleep. Doggy, when you sleep, I wanna sleep. Lay in the sun where it's nice and warm. Doggy, why don't you 
bongo, bongo, yes. So Jan, Fred, you guys have a little chihuahua named Daisy. She's 13, Noah's 13 too. You watch him with Henry, Elizabeth. Nice. Wait a minute, hold on, let me see, where am I here? Okay, thank you, Jan, yes I did, and Melinda, yay. Okay, well, let's end with this. <clears throat> the great big wheel goes round and round. The sun goes up and the sun goes down. We keep living from day to day. I look around me and I have to say I'm lucky. Spending my life with you, you know I'm lucky. And I know we're gonna make it through. There's no one else in the world like you. No one does things the way you do. I wouldn't trade you for anything. You bring a smile to my heart and you make me sing. I'm lucky. Spending my life with you, you know I'm lucky. And I know we're going to make it through. I'm lucky. Spending my life with you, you know I'm lucky. And I know we're going to make it through. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you next Thursday. It'll be 2022. Oh, we're going to cross that line into the next year. Okay? I'll see you next Thursday.